I used to work in a fire sprinkler company doing a draft, being a draftsman, so I draw plans for them. And then I went to work in a importing company, and then I work in a hair salon. Hair cut, hair colour, anything to do with hair really. Um, beauty would be waxing is our main thing, um, facials, massage, eye treatments, body treatments, etc. What I try to get to the team to do is to make sure you keep the client happy. Then you will, you don't need you don't need new clients if you have, if you can keep all your clients. That's that's what we don't promote. I just want to do more um, because I've got so much knowledge inside my head. So I want to use my knowledge to pass on to other people. That's why I want to coach. Um, playing, I really enjoy playing. It's more physical and you focus on just one position the thing that you need to do but when you're coaching you have to coach the whole team it's just like running a business you when you run a business you have to there's so many aspects of the business that you have to look after but when you're just let's say I work at the reception desk and I just need to focus on reception desk it's a, it's a lot easier than, than coaching I learn a lot from coaching for my business for example communication with the players the same as communication with my team. I coach my staff once every month. I will have one-to-one -one meetings with them, which is like a business coaching to them, to coach them to how they can run their own little business themselves. Same as with my coach, my players. How can they play the position, which is very similar, yeah. I try to keep it quite simple so that they understand what I'm talking about, especially, especially um, foreign students, they're here for one year, some of them when they come, their English is not great. It's like very technical terms, they wouldn't understand. So you, it's better to show them how to do it, use your body language, and then slowly they will understand you more throughout the season. European players are more, they express themselves a lot, but Asian players like Chinese or Malaysian, Thai, they're quite reserved, they don't show the emotion when they're on court. They are more likely to listen to the coach um, because that's well, just like at school, when, you, when, when Chinese students at school, they just listen to the teacher, they will not question anything. But in Western culture, you would question the teacher when you don't understand, same as here. They will question the coach if they don't, they would disagree with the coach, but Asian players, they won't. They just do whatever you tell them. And then English players, I think they just like to drink. If I, if I never watch the matches, the, especially the, the one with the Chinese um, commentary, I would not be coaching because I wouldn't have that, that kind of knowledge. About 10 years ago, maybe, when you go to a Chinese restaurant, they speak Cantonese to you, but now, you're just expected to speak Mandarin because everybody is from China and it was quite rare to see students from mainland China coming to study in UK. When I was in boarding school all of the Chinese people are from Hong Kong but now I think the majority would be from mainland China. You, you, you do see the change, yeah. Hong Kong people, they, they, they don't think, they think that Hong Kong can do well without China, but personally, I don't think that would be the case. My granddad actually was a refugee, refugee from China, and then I went back to visit. So I, I understand, you know, I still have that connection. You know, we will have to send, uh, I don't know, goods, clothes back to China. But now, younger generation, they don't, they don't have that. I'm a person, I'm quite easygoing, so either way, in Hong Kong or in here, I'm fine.